Hi everyone, this is the CTT repeat cycle hold timer. And up on my screen here, I have the from the pages from the manual, there's two pages that uh, respond to this uh, repeat cycle hold uh, mode. And what you'll see is that's broken down. We have the description of actually what happens. We have our wiring diagrams and or our um, timing charts and then our wiring diagrams. And then we have our instructions um, to actually program the unit. Then we have our setting time units. And that's it. Two pages to uh, put this unit into our repeat cycle hold timing. Now if we look at the timing chart itself, there are two different modes of the timing chart. And that it depends on whether or not the output signal is held or not. So in our case here, we have uh, the timing cycle hold. So what will happen is that every time it hits the set value, the output will turn on. During the next cycle, it'll turn off for that same duration, then on. So it repeats itself. If the output itself had a specific time to turn the outputs on, then what will happen is at the end of every time cycle, the outputs will fire for the duration that you specify for the time. So in our particular case, we'll go back to our timing cycle here. And what we'll do is we will program this uh, CTT, uh, counter timer tachometer unit, to the um, repeat cycle hold timer. So again, in order to get into the main menu or the programming menu, we hit and hold the mode key. It comes up with our timing function located right here. Then we hit it again. We have our up mode so that the timer itself, you'll see this goes out to the up. Our next will show us our timing mode, which is currently right now for the, uh, the repeat cycle, but we want the repeat cycle hold. So we will use the up arrow key, which is recycle, uh, repeat cycle hold. We hit mode key to lock that in. Mode key again, this is our specifying of our timing units. In our case here, we have 0.1 second. Then we have our output. Again, it's set for 0.00, .00 which will maintain our outputs so that we will see the output signal go on for a duration, off for a duration. Uh, our reset is at 20 milliseconds. And our input type is PNP, which goes back to the wiring of our unit itself. Hit it once more and it loops back to the beginning of our setup menu. Now, if we hit and hold the menu, the mode menu, it'll go back to our run mode. In this case here, we have uh, uh, 10 seconds. And what we'll do is we're gonna just reset this unit. So we reset the unit. Now, when we hit the start signal, we'll start uh, timing. We turn off the start signal. So what we should do is see it go up to the 10 seconds and it should then turn on your outputs, which it did. And then it will go up to 10 seconds again and turn the outputs off. If we turn on the uh, start again, um, it will do nothing at all. It'll just keep going exactly the same as what we did before. If we turn on the hold, it will hold the value to what we had previously, and then we can turn that hold input off, and it continues to uh, start the timer. Now the other thing is, which uh, it's a repeat cycle hold, so that means if we turn off the power to the unit, we just turned it off. Now when we turn power back on, it should resume where it left off, which exactly it did as soon as I hit the start again. So that is the uh, repeat cycle hold timer of the CCT. Now, all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca and they can also be found on this video links below. Now, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. 
Thanks for watching.